that's a little bit better. I need a haircut. So, so I explained this a little bit last time. This is the garage uh, that is the home for Walt. You can see there's like a couple of decks right there. Uh, but we like totally revamped this garage uh, in the last month and have made it into a workspace and a shipping center and a kind of place to run operations for Walt Skateboarding, which as I mentioned in every one of these episodes is a freestyle skateboard company uh, run by myself and my friend Daniel Trujillo. So besides working on this garage, which has been a huge undertaking for me, I've been working on a few projects kind of related to Walt's and I've been working with a few people on it. People like Freestyle Comics, y'all know him. And I've also been working with the Girl Gang, this like group of female freestylers who are all like working together online. And, and all of these people are helping me kind of get a better sense of what it's like to be a new freestyler. Somebody who's just gotten into freestyle for the first time and is sort of in the deep end of the pool right now trying to figure out all of this stuff and all the stuff that we do on our boards because whether I like it or not, we've kind of made this stuff really confusing for people. I think we've also kind of misrepresented what freestyle skating is for the vast majority of high level freestylers when we go out and skate. In short, I think the way that most pro freestylers or even just high-ish level freestylers share their footage, share their posts on Instagram, share new tricks they're working on on YouTube, makes it look like we go out and just battle tricks we've never done before every day of our lives. And that couldn't be farther from the truth, at least for most of us. Sean Burke is, is kind of an anomaly. Ah, come on. And, and I feel like it's important that I make a video about what it's like when I go out and skate. Not when I'm making YouTube videos, not when I'm like making an Instagram clip, but what it's like when I go out and just try to like jam and skate and tinker with my tricks. So I think that's closer to what most people's skateboarding experience is like. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go to the park. Come on. So like I was saying, most of the people I know who've been skating and doing freestyle stuff for a while aren't coming out and diving straight into battles. It's not like those battle videos I make where I'm like grinding out a uh, 360 carousel or something for the first time. 99.9% .9 of the sessions, you're just messing around. All those tricks that we're trying to teach you in the early freestyle trick tips, things like walk the dogs, switchblades or tail stop shuffles are still in play. We're still doing those, or at least I'm still doing those 12 or 13 years after learning them. And those early footwork tricks stay in your bag and kind of become like your foundation for every trick you're learning and kind of become like the most fun part, at least for me, when I'm out messing around. It's not about doing the trick. It's about combining it with other things and kind of making new ideas out of these existing building blocks. So rather than sit here and try to set up and do uh, a 360 carousel for an hour and a half, I'm actually going to play around with this front side switchblade thing, which I probably learned like four or five years ago. Wait, longer. I don't know, a while ago and see what I can do with it. See what I can combine with it. Recently, I started messing around with that into a one-footed spin, oh, which I'm clearly so good at. I think I just broke the mic. We still got audio, good. That's good news. Jeez, Mike, come on, pull it together. Like I was saying, I recently learned how to do the <laughs> reverse switchblade to one foot 360. There's gotta be more that I can do with that. There's got to. So let's see, maybe I could figure out, oh, oh, straight into rail stand. Tinkering, it's about tinkering. Taking things you already know, taking foundational tricks a lot of the time and just playing with them. Really playing skateboards, right? Sometimes it looks cool, sometimes it looks really lame. And that's kind of the best part. It's really just about exploring, just trying things out. All right. I like that reverse switchblade. 
a rail stand. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. So one thing I noticed is I have to change how I do both tricks, both the reverse switchblade and the rail stand, the tail stop to rail stand in order to make this work. Both of these tricks are in the sort of foundational freestyle trick category, but they both have to change a little bit in order to put them together, right? You can't just do a standard switchblade and a standard tail stop to rail stand to like combine them with continuity, with this kind of like flow that works, that makes it look good. So just in that, in trying to like combine them and flow them together, there's a battle. Actually, that wasn't much of a battle. But you can see how taking those two ideas becomes a new trick. I spent a lot of time taking more foundational tricks and playing with them, but then you can also just kind of figure out ways to not just merge tricks, but sequence tricks, where you're not necessarily trying to like flow through them all at once, but just playing around with different ideas of ways to combine things. Like maybe for a while you've been doing heel side rail stand, boardwalk, rail flip out. That was a terrible one. Let's try that again. Heel side rail stand, boardwalk, rail flip out. Maybe instead you do heel side rail stand and a different type of boardwalk, maybe like a wheel hop and then a rail flip out. Or like I was saying before, with that reverse switchblade to one foot spin, ah, we do a thruster to one foot spin. Ah. Oh, let's try that again. Yeah, that kind of works, but I'm just kind of taking pieces that I already have, these sort of building blocks that I've already started to figure out on their own and putting them together. That tinkering, I think is freestyle. That's like, that's what freestyle feels like and looks like to me. I don't know, I'm just gonna spend the rest of this session tinkering and hopefully walking through some of it with you. I don't know, maybe it'll provide a bit more of a realistic image of what this is and what I do when I'm out here. It's like figuring out new tricks, but they're not new. It's weird, it's playing skateboards. How about rolling stuff, right? Rolling tricks are the worst, let's be honest. Everyone wants to just stay still. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're working on like monster walks a lot. How do you spice those up? See, what other tricks are you working on where your feet are kind of at the ends of the board, right? That's my thought. How do I kind of keep that same position to blend and, and go in between other tricks? I always work on like backwards monster walks, go slow into it. I need to work on those more. Now it's getting the full rotation. That's better. A lot of that. He definitely saw that. Let's see. No comply into monster walks. Now for you, it might be monster walks into backwards monster walks, or even like monster walks more than three times in a row. But like, that's just as important. It's just as profound to be working on that, being able to get three super solid monster walks as it is for someone to be working on no complying to monster walks. <laughs> how did that look? So then how do I do no complying to backwards monster walks, right? So how do I play with that idea? Oh, oh. Far less smooth, but still something. It's about everything in between, everybody. So this is like hard to do on camera. That's why like people like me, Sean, well, not Sean, Sean's doing his own thing. Ah, come on. Get it into Pogo, do the other tricks. It's much easier to put down a camera and battle a trick and feel like you have to prove something on camera. But that's not really how people learn, I find. I find that also it's much easier to kind of find your own ideas and find your own style and find your own like language within freestyle if you're doing this, if you're playing around and you're just approaching the tricks that you already have with an open mind and finding new ways to connect them. I hope that 
everybody out there who's getting into this, who's learning how to skateboard with us and playing skateboards and doing this freestyle thing, is taking time to do that and not feeling like because they're not going out every day and learning something huge and profound for them, that they're not like doing it right. You're learning something. You're developing that muscle memory, developing those tricks and that comfort on your board. That makes a huge difference. Even if you're not trying to be, you know, the next Dan Garb or the next Utah Fuji, whoever, keep it up. Maybe you'll figure out how to do something wild that no one's done before. Some strange combination like switchblade to terrible one foot spins to push Mongo. <laughs> Skateboarding is the best and the worst, let's be honest. Yeah.